The Minnesota Department of Health and Evergreen Youth and Family Services in Bemidji wrapped up Mental Health Awareness Month yesterday by hosting a free suicide prevention class. Lakeland News was not allowed to film the class in order to protect the privacy of some of the participants, but organizers say the goal is to help people recognize the signs and show them how to intervene. Officials say most people who are thinking about suicide will drop small hints. The biggest things for loved ones to do is to not be afraid to ask the question. When you are with someone that you think might be suicidal, it's really important to ask them, are you feeling suicidal? And it's a scary question to ask, but we have to ask it. And knowing what to do with that information is really important as well. We have a lot of resources in our community that are able to help. Um, one of the best resources we have is our mobile crisis team that um, by calling 800-422-0045, um, folks can be connected with someone from mobile crisis that can come to the home or come to the workplace. Evergreen has been working on many programs to help mental health in the community. Currently, the Headwaters Alliance for Suicide Prevention is coming up with a community suicide prevention plan. They're also hosting a run, walk, skate suicide awareness event in September. Another way they're helping is by actively reaching out to teens in Beltrami County. Kelly meets with every ninth grade student in Beltrami County to talk about, it's called gatekeeper training. So they learn how to identify in their peers if their peers are significantly depressed or show signs of depression, and if their peers ever have high risk signs of suicide, they teach the peers what to do and how to respond or in what kind of intervention to do. And usually that involves connecting them with a caring adult. To learn more about suicide prevention resources in Beltrami County, head to evergreenyfs.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.